Evening, it's uh, Deal Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, end of day's trading session, Monday the 26th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs. Also visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com and you can certainly download the uh, app at the uh, Google Play or the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of market uh, close and the positions today, the FTSE finished up 22 points, up 0.3%. The German DAX up 37, the French CAC up 29 points, up 0.5 percent. FTSE, MIB, IBEX, and the stock 600 certainly all up across the board. Now they were helped by the fact that uh, there was an intervention with regards to Italian banks, and therefore that was considered risk a positive, given the fact that the MPLs now have been negated and non-performing loans. So that certainly does help the uh, European, uh, obviously, banking system and Europe as a whole, as it reduces any potential chances. chances of, of any current contagion or any future contagion as well and therefore negates any risk that there is in the banking sector which eventually triggers a short squeeze and investors certainly embrace risk and that's the status quo other than that we also had uh, German data as well certainly coming in on stronger than expected German IFO data certainly helping the market sentiment uh, the UK mortgage approvals certainly came in uh, slightly better as well so that certainly helped and then towards the afternoon, we had the U.S. durable goods orders that certainly set the uh, the market into reverse. So we'll discuss that as well. Okay, so um, we certainly gapped higher over the weekend with Asian markets certainly pushing higher as well. You have the likes of the uh, Asian Shanghai up 27 points, up 0.8 percent, and then you have the Hang Seng up 0.8 percent. You have the uh, Nikkei more or less flat overnight, though that certainly is something certainly to notice. Okay. Now let's see the actual uh, technical picture. Let's see exactly where we stand. German DAX at the moment holding that key diagonal trend line. Let's see if we can continue to make new highs or we actually make a lower high. So at the moment, the way things stand, it certainly does look weak for the German DAX, really, given the fact that um, we certainly seem to be uh, holding the fibre retracement. Okay, so let's see how that transpires. Uh, okay, from a 60-minute chart. Well, bear in mind you have made a base at this at this region at 12,700. So this may well be a higher high, higher higher low, sorry. And before we go on to make a higher high, so certainly bear that in mind as well, especially given the fact that we've uh, certainly pushed higher. Although the right shoulder, certainly one would argue, is still intact. Either way, that's the status quo. In terms of the 10-minute chart on the German DAX, let's just have a look here. So we failed to close the actual gap completely. Okay, it's an impressive thrust, regardless. Okay. Uh, your pivot low is seen at around the uh, 12740. We obviously didn't close that. We initially, obviously, as you can see here, we certainly pushed higher initially, and we hit a pivot high of uh, 12840, which was very, very impressive. Until we obviously gave all the gains back and reversed quite sharply as well. So, again, something to uh, certainly consider. Now, there's some horizontal support in this region here. Okay, and as you can see, certainly it's coming to play. So a lot of horizontal support in that region at 12,750 with the gap fill being below at 12,735. And we'll see exactly how this market transpires in the next few days. The French CAC, let's just bring the French CAC for you as well. Certainly from my perspective, it remains weak. You can see here lower lows, lower highs. French CAC certainly is a good shorting opportunity from my perspective. And as you can see, key diagonal trend line held. And we reversed quite powerfully to previous resistance equal support, which was seen around the 5,285 level. And the buyer certainly stepped in and saved the day to a large extent and preventing it from a further gap down. But nevertheless, US markets certainly remain under pressure in the evening. 10 minute chart you have the unfilled gap in the French CAC scene around the uh, 5265 zone. So, again, looking for potential gap fill, whether we actually push higher and make, make new highs. That's a different question altogether. Okay, let's see how Asian markets react first. FTSE 100 textbook here we hit the pivot high at 7477. On the daily chart, from my perspective, really it's uh, still bearish. I mean, the trend certainly seems to be down from here now. Okay, we'll see whether or not we can uh, prove that to be incorrect. 60 minute chart, you're into previous resistance equal support, which is around the 5740. So, certainly bear that stop loss in mind. If you are trading, you want to put one below that. And again, you are looking for a higher high given the fact that we've made a higher double bottom low. No uh, lower low. Okay, we've short squeezed higher. Now we're looking for a healthy retrace before we continue our march higher so that again is something to consider in terms of the FTSE 100 10 minute chart again you're holding that key support zone which you've seen at 7440 and that's not just for the um, for the fundamentals or the technicals is for both okay so again bear that in mind although you are capped above that to 7480 so certainly yeah, be careful when we go we do go back into that zone okay now let's go into the uh, euro stocks last but not least let's see exactly where this stands 
Okay, so the daily chart first and foremost, trading sideways, no real conviction here. Okay, so either we can consolidate and break lower on the bear flag, or we can consolidate and push higher on a bull flag. So again, both are feasible and plausible. Okay, now in terms of the uh, euro stocks, okay, so we've pushed higher, we've certainly not made a lower low. Okay, we've built a base here at 3530. We've used that base to, to thrust almost 50 points. As you can see here, we've gapped higher, pushed higher. We're now retesting that breakout zone. So again, this is key support back in this zone here. Okay, so previous resistance equals support in technical analysis. So certainly bear that in mind. And again, there's certainly is an assault a beckoning up to 3,600 and back to 3,620 again. 10 minute chart, you're currently in no man's land, to be honest, you have the unfilled gap below which is seen at 3545. Do we close that gap or will you continue to march higher on the back of uh, obviously the European banking system? Okay, if I have the banking system, do I have the bank? No, I unfortunately I don't. Let's just quickly bring up the banking system. Bear with me. Okay, so what are the financials here at the moment? And you can see the financials here, certainly building some type of base and bouncing from there. So again, certainly keep an eye out for that. Interesting. Okay. Okay, well that certainly is a good summation of really European equities at present. Okay. Uh, certainly uh, trading in no man's land to a large extent, although they are support on other indices, so follow the support up there. And from my perspective, it certainly seems to be overdone quite a significant amount, although the Nasdaq did, did, did get hit towards the uh, after hours as well. But nevertheless, uh, still in the bullish camp, still in the bullish camp. I won't turn bearish as of yet and certainly looking for higher prices on the morrow. On that note, like I said, please do be, please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals of market updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.